Well, we've been doing some thoughts from time to time on end of the world. And in thinking about that, I got thinking about uh, laws of thermodynamics. And then as I've been reviewing and seeing how the Apostle Paul said things about God, his plan, his world can be understood by looking at the world, at the creation he's made. One thing we realize is that in the world, uh, according to uh, science, we have some laws of thermodynamics. And um, when I look at the first three laws of thermodynamics, I know they've done some adjustments over the years. I also know I'm not a physicist or expert, but I like the simple ideas behind them because when you look at the first law of thermodynamics, it's basically saying uh, energy can be transformed in various ways, but it can be neither created nor destroyed. Hmm. That sounds to me quite a lot like a uh, picture of God himself, the creator, uh, certainly can uh, appear in many different ways, but cannot be created nor destroyed. So I kind of look at the first law of thermody thermodynamics and see a picture of God. And then um, second law of thermodynamics are entropy. Things tend to disorder. Well, that kind of reminds me of this world. Uh, things uh, seem to be going more towards disorder than order, uh, this state of entropy. And then we were talking about how even the Bible talks about the world wearing out and uh, being folded up, disappearing, it says, before the uh, face of the uh, great, great throne judgment at the end of the world. And uh, even the book of Romans, the Apostle Paul says that the whole creation is groaning within itself, waiting for the adoption, the redemption of the children of God. Uh, it seems like the whole creation seems to be in bondage to the effects of sin in the universe, just like we are in bondage to the effects of sin in our lives. And someday we will be set free and apparently the world itself will be set free. Now we go through a process of death and resurrection. It seems like maybe that's what's going on in the world. We look at the third law of thermodynamics as entropy stops at absolute zero. Now I know that's a very simplified thing, but to get one point from it, basically entropy stops at absolute zero. Uh, things can't get any worse <laughs> because they're... Uh, at absolute zero, that's it. And uh, when you think of the picture of uh, everything dissolving, as Peter says, and then a great white throne judgment, it says the earth and the heaven fled away. But as soon as that judgment is over, there appears a new heavens and new earth. It's like kind of like the, uh, if we want a descriptive way of uh, talking about it, kind of like the whole universe being sucked in to a massive black hole, which of course can't be seen and go, but say we could travel through the other side of the black hole and come out completely transformed, kind of the picture of what we're getting in the universe. Uh, when it talks about resurrection, that's the picture. Uh, even Job says, very old prophet, Job, and uh, he says, I know. I know that in my flesh I will see God. Even though I'm going to die and worms are going to destroy this body, is in my flesh I will see God. It says there is coming a resurrection, a transformation for those who, who love God and are faithful to him. And it looks like in just the way the Bible, Jesus, our bodies are going to go through a transformation through death. It looks like the universe is going to go through a transformation through death. And just as the body of Jesus, when he resurrected, had some amazing abilities, it looks like we will have some amazing abilities when we're transformed. And just as we said in one of our uh, blogs about when this new heavens and new earth comes in, it is such a massively different scale and experience than what we've had before. Part of it, I wonder, is is the second law of thermodynamics going to become irrelevant? Of course, if the second law is irrelevant, the third law is irrelevant. You take away entropy, and you don't need the third law that uh, entropy stops at absolute zero. Uh, perhaps the absolute zero was reached when the universe was dissolved, 
And then uh, on the other side of this dissolving, there appears as grand, brand new gray, but brand new, but based on what we knew was there before. Uh, apparently, as Job said, in my flesh I'll see God. I'm going to go through a great transformation, but it'll be me. And the uh, universe is going to be a, go through a great transformation, but what if it pops out on the other side? as a universe with no second law of thermodynamics, no entropy. Things don't get worse. There's no law that makes things get more disorder. No, there's a law where things go on and on and on. Uh, how do we understand it? Well, I think I can explain that better to you once we're in that situation. So come back and ask me that question when we're actually experiencing the new heavens and new earth. Of course, you won't need to. You'll know also. Well, my thought for today. Thanks for listening.